Hey butterflies, it's your girl Pam. I'm coming with a new type of um, video this week for myself. Uh, I know there's a lot of folks on uh, YouTube that do this. Um, actually, I've probably been running away from it um, just because it's, you know, my actual numbers and <laughs> so it's a little uh, intimidating. Um, but we'll see how it goes. And if it's, you know, something that you guys want to continue to see, then we'll do it that way. If not, we'll go back to the old way. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up or give a comment down below. Um, if it helps you out and make sure you subscribe, um, cause we would love to have you as part of the butterfly family. Um, I'm a little under the weather, so please forgive me. Um, I'll try to get through this. Um, I wanted to show a single parent, three kids, um, and, you know, just to give a different aspect. A lot of time there is a lot, a lot of income, um, you know, and sometimes it's a little bit of income. Some people have kids, some people don't have kids, some people have a husband. So I wanted to give just a different perspective. Like I said, I'm a single mom of three children, two that are grown but still in my pocket, <laughs> And then um, one that is 13, all girls. So, uh, and I also wanted to show where in the beginning of the month, maybe your budget has not completely zeroed out. And I'll tell you why as we keep going. All right, so we're going to get started. So, um, this is February 2019, excuse me, um, budget and um, my paycheck, I get paid once a month, was twenty five seventy six twenty two. I have a lot of deductions coming out of my paycheck, so um, this is what my bring home is. So there you have it. Um, I do get reimbursed for mileage a little bit. So um, the first check that came in was one hundred and six forty six. The second check that will come in this month but has not come in yet is $127.02. Then I got a nice little surprise. Um, it was a escrow check from my house note um, where it says gift from God. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> that was $262.74, which was completely a surprise because I have not seen an escrow check in a very long time. For most of you guys, you know that I have, um, well, I, I have a, a Habitat home that I got about 10 years ago. So I don't pay interest, but I still have to pay, um, still have to pay property tax and insurance and all that good stuff. So um, that was a nice surprise. So total income in the household was $3,072.44. Excuse me, $3,072.44. Um, all right. So let's move down. Now, the next area, um, people are going to have their own particular thought process, thought process about this, and that's fine. Um, I have decided, um, I guess at the end of last year, that I was going to start back tithing. That was something that I have done in the past and I wanted to get back to because of my beliefs. I understand if it's not your beliefs, um, you know, totally understandable and, you know, not to throw shade to anybody else and definitely don't want any shade thrown to me. This is just my personal choice. So that's $415.26 plus I give $25 a month to St. Jude. So that's say, uh, excuse me, that's giving. Um, my emergency fund is not fully funded. Remember, you guys, I was, I'm was i back on baby step zero. There's a lot of things that I've got to take care of. Um, I'm going to do a, um, a video on tax return. Um, I got blindsided because the twins are old enough now and have been working full-time hours, um, but still, um, it, well, they're, they're making more than minimum wage, but, you know, um, but they were still under my household for half of the year and one of them for more than half of the year. So 
because I can't claim them any longer and get any kind of tax deductions, my income taxes was so much lower than what I thought. But we're going to be grateful for what we got and we're going to make it work. So I'll show you guys how I'm going to do that um, in another video. Uh, right now, I am going to send $5 to each one of my um, sinking funds. That's the most that I can do right now until I get back on track. Um, so I have a Life Happens. Um, I have a Janae School Fees. I have Pet Shots, Auto Maintenance, Household, um, different items, birthdays, and deductibles. And that was like your cell phone deductible if you have to have your um cell phone replaced or something. I'm not putting anything in that one this month. All right. So my mortgage, remember I don't pay interest. So my mortgage is $451 and 25 cent. Um, my water bill is 3439. Georgia power was $118 and 92 cent. My cell phone is $111 and 84 cent. That's for me and Janae. Um, my internet is 5525. Um, that could go down to $46, I think $46. I don't get paid to the last day of the month, and it's due like on the 28th, and they charge you on the 29th. So I'm going to try to figure out how to maybe get that where I can save that extra, you know, $9 and some change. Um, I don't have to pay trash this quarter. Oh, excuse me, I've already paid for trash this quarter. I'll pay it again, I think, in March. Um, let's see, ADT is $27.99. Direct TV is getting ready to go in May. I'm just trying to ride the contract out so I don't have to pay the disconnect fee. Um, the disconnect fee is $20 per month. Um, for each month you have remaining on your bill. So I'm only paying $3.74 extra to actually watch the TV. So I'm just going to ride it out and then I'm going to get rid of direct. Um, there's no lawn because it's winter time. HOA fees I'm not paying right now. Um, my truck note is five sixty three forty five, And I think I was probably more worried about this. About people asking me why my house, my car note is <laughs> more than my house note because I'm stupid and I went back out and I got a new vehicle before I started this process. Yes, dumb and, and dumb and dumber. There, there you go. Um, Y'all don't have to say it because I can say it myself. But um, the bottom line is I had already um, co-signed for both of my girls, and so my debt to I guess debt to income ratio was high when I decided to get mine because I had co-signed on both of their cars and my interest rate was a little bit higher than it should have been. But as soon as I knock out this credit card debt, I'm going directly after that. Um, and my car insurance, now that the twins aren't on it, is $120.66. I allocate about $160 for gas every month. That's been going pretty well. Um, restaurants, I tried to do a no spin restaurant eating out in January. That was a total bust. Probably need to do a video on that too. Um, so I decided to just give myself $50 in cash. That's for me and Janae. And bottom line, once it's gone, it's gone. We'll see how that works. We haven't used any this month. Um, but it's the 3rd of Jan uh, 3rd of February, so um, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, um, groceries, I have $230. It's supposed to be $250.50 and 50 for the second, third, and fourth week. But they had, um, we only eat flats, um, and they had them on sale at Kroger. So I allocated and shifted some money over. So therefore, I could go ahead and stock up on three bags of chicken, and then I won't have to worry about it for a while. So I just move some numbers around. That's why that negative uh, $3.14 is there. I'll have to figure out how to reallocate that in just a bit. Um, My allowance is $50 a month. There goes Tank, so please forgive him. Um, It might be Toby. I don't know who it is. <laughs> 
But anyway, um, uh, $50 for my allowance. However, I want to spend it. We'll figure it out. Um, sounds like a good, another good, um, video because I'm going to try to do cash for a, my allowance and for restaurants just to see how it goes. Because if I try to do it with swiping the card, I always kind of have selective amnesia that I swiped it too much. So I'm going to try the cash and just see if that works better. We'll, we'll keep you posted. $19.50 for Jim. That will be over in March. Um, I'm going to take advantage of the outside and maybe just walk. Household items, $30. That's just toilet paper, paper towels. I've gotten rid of a lot of paper towels. Um, I don't use as many as I used to. I got some white washcloths from um, Walmart. I think it was like eight for three and some change and that's just for drying my hands and stuff while I'm in the kitchen so that's worked out pretty well um but you know dishwasher tabs uh, laundry detergent whatever we need um now this is why my budget is not zeroed out Brianna got into a car accident um she's okay but she, the deer hit her <laughs> The dear one, and she um, had to get her car repaired. I have for the last two months, which has been very challenging. That's the word I'm going to use. Very challenging. Um, having to either drive her back and forth to school or letting her take my car. Um, so... She needed $256. She will pay me back this coming Wednesday, and it was well worth it for her to get her car back because I was driving two hours a day back and forth on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. She usually takes a car on Saturday, but at least Thursday and Friday of having to take her and go back and pick her up in the middle of Atlanta traffic, which is not fun. So she'll pay me my money back on the 6th when she gets paid. And then my debt was Ashley Stewart. That should be paid off once I get my income taxes because I, my plan was to pay off Ashley Stewart Capital One and the second Capital One. Don't, don't, don't you judge me. Don't you dare. But <laughs> it was to pay off all three. I didn't get as much back. So I'll pay, um, Ashley Stewart off completely a good portion of the first Ashley Stewart and then um, we'll continue to knock out the third one until we knock it out so there is my budget um, I hope it helps you guys what I think I'm going to do is I'll, I'll have it zeroed out by the end of the month but until Brie pays me my money back I need to kind of allocate things so that's why it says left the budget up at the top that 38.19 and then um the money that she owes me so i'll go back allocate that to one of the debts or it might it probably will go to the four walls of getting that catch caught up um like i said i'm in baby step zero i had to start all over i don't know i think i just got it, it just went downhill um, and got out of hand. And so because of that, I, you know, things got behind. So I just have to figure it out and allocate it where it needs to go. But I'll come back at toward the end of the month that you get, guys see how it, in, um, it ends up. And I can do mine a little bit before the end of the month because I don't get paid anymore. Um, the only other thing that might come back um, is maybe another mileage check, but it probably won't hit until the first part of March. But I also wanted to sh let y'all see too, um, at the top, I do have, um, child support on there. Um, Janae's dad right now is not paying child support. So hopefully that will come in and help with some of her expenses. But, you know, it, it is what it is. God makes a way like he always does. But I feel really good about the budget. I'm hoping that this will help someone um, that is a single mom or maybe it's, you know, maybe it's a household um, with a mom and dad. But 
you know, I don't make a whole, whole lot of money, but I make enough to, to get by. But my, my, um, plan is just to continue to budget until I start getting this debt knocked out. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Um, and, um, on the next video, which will be a sit down video, we'll do the shout outs. So keep leaving them for me. I'm writing them down, taking pictures of them, screenshots, so I can make sure that I do the shout outs. Um, I did close, um, the, um, healthy lifestyle Facebook group because it, it, people weren't participating. So, um, I, I hate that that didn't pan out the way that I, I wanted it to, but ditching the debt, it has definitely, you know, people are, um, adding into the group and everybody is helping everybody. And it has been such a wonderful support system. I posted what I was receiving from my taxes and got feedback from them. And it has just been such a wonderful, um, such a wonderful support system for me. And I know for the other people that are in the group, so it's ditching the debt on Facebook. If you have it, I wish, um, you know, a lot of you would come in, especially when you, you, it's small enough where we support each other, but it's large enough to get vast amount of different uh, ways of thinking about things. So um, anyway, I um, love you guys to death and I can't wait until the next video. And I hope that this helps someone. So until next time, butterflies, love you.